Hi everyone! In this tutorial we're going to have a look at how to extract a twist rotation from a wrist bone and apply it to lower arm bone rotations. And the reason we are not using uh, simply the Z rotation from the wrist is because uh, that will not take into account the twist we get from using the X and Y rotation like this. Um, and so we'll need to have to find another way that will also take into account the X and Y rotations. And so let's have a look how to do this. First, let's have a look at how we set up uh, this arm for the tutorial. Um, we have uh, three bones, the upper arm bone, the lower arm bone and the wrist bone. And under upper and lower arm, we have parented uh, the twist bones or part bones. So basically each bone is split into four uh, equal length bones. Uh, and this will actually twist, uh, uh, twist the geometry. And uh, also the geometry will be captured to these bones. And under each of these bones, uh, we have uh, a proxy geometry uh, parented. The way we're going to do it is we're going to create uh, three nulls. And we're going to place it um, under the lower arm uh, bone, but at uh, the wrist bone position. And we're going to uh, reset the rotations so that because the wrist is at an angle, uh, we want for the twist uh, rotation to calculate it to be at a neutral rotation. Basically have the same rotation as the uh, lower arm bone. And we're going to call this one uh, wrist bone neutral. And we're going to copy this now and say wrist bone and name, name it uh, twist, twist rotation. And we're going to create another null and just move it in the, in the Z axis approximately the length of the um, of the wrist bone and name this uh, wrist bone uh, twist, twist rotation aim. Uh, what we're going to do here is first we're going to create a ordering constraint between a wrist bone and wrist bone neutral and so these two nodes are going to rotate with the wrist bone uh, of course, we're going to use an offset, uh, and then we're going to create a look at constraint between twist rotation and twist rotation aim. And we're going to use the quaternion uh, to calculate this rotation, and uh, this will allow us to then uh, uh, check the offset and or, or how much we need to twist between a wrist bone neutral and twist rotation, and that will, will give us in the end the correct twist value that we can use. Uh, for the lower arm bones. Okay, so first let's create a blend constraint uh, and using only rotations. So just rotations and keep position after. Um, <coughs> select the wrist bone neutral now and then the wrist bone. So when we rotate the wrist bone the wrist bone neutral now is rotating and we have it at an offset. And then we need to create a look at constraint and select the twist rotation and twist rotation aim. We don't have a look at object, we're going to use quaternions. So just click enter. And then let's go with a twist rotation and constraints and select this look at node and change the lookup mode from use vector to use quaternions. So now we can create the twist parameter and transfer 
its value to split bounds. So we go to select the twist rotation and edit parameter interface and just add a float parameter. We'll name it twist. And paste relative reference to rotate Z on the part bones or split bones. And because there are four uh, split bones and uh, we're gonna paste only 20% of rotation on each bone, uh, the last 20% is actually on the wrist itself. So when we twist, this is basically what we get. So to, to get the twist value, we will need to calculate how much we need to rotate this wrist bone neutral to match this twist rotation now. And to do that, we're gonna use VR origin command. And we're gonna do it wrist bone neutral. And it has to match the um, twist rotation. and just use the last axis, the Z axis, okay? So now, and we have to negate it. So now we see that it actually works. but it will flip at 90 degrees. Uh, so we need to find a way to avoid the 90 degree flip. Uh, one way to do this is to use the blend node. And this way we get a, a half rotation between uh, wrist bone neutral and twist rotation. So if we use, um, let's say twist blend so if we use uh, for the twist rotation uh, the target rotation of this blend node twist blend and since it's a half rotation we multiply it back by two uh, we will get back uh, this correct value so just so let's see so it should flip it 180, which is fine. Okay, now let's see if it works in the X and Y. Okay, so we also get a twist uh, as expected. So this is how to extract a twist rotation from a bone. Uh, hope it was helpful and hope to see you next time. Bye bye.